Hey Siri, what's the time right now? It's 4.17. Yo, it's 4.17 a.m. <laughs> yes, I am up late again to do another South Park reaction because you guys seem to like that. So I'm super excited. This time I got a little request in the comment section saying that um, I should react to Scott Teneman Must Die. So I've decided to react to that episode. I watched this episode, I will admit, a while back. So I've got a vague idea about what it is about. Um, I know Eric Cartman is quite the evil, uh, crazy character in this series. So uh, we'll see what shenanigans he's up to. So let's get cracking. South Park episode four, season five, Scott Teneman must die. Right, let's get down to it. It's slowly coming back to me. Also, guys, bear with me if I keep pausing it or you see a lot of parts of this um, episode chopped off. It's just because of copyright uh, claims from the producers of South Park when I upload. They block the video until I cut. All right. Let's get back. Gardening, you don't buy pubes, you grow them yourself. No, right? uh -huh. When you get old enough, you grow your own pubic hair that's attached to you. But then why would Scott Tenement sell me his pubes for $10? Because, retard, you're dumb enough to buy Scott Tenement's pubes for $10. <laughs> I'm gonna get that son of a bitch. Tax evasion is a very serious offense, sir. <laughs> I suggest that you... Alright, alright. I'll trade you my pubes back for the money. You will? Cool. How much did I charge? Ew. Oh yeah, $10. You got change for a 20? Ew. Oh, uh... Now, give me the 12 cents, and I'll give you the rest of your change back, and then give me the 20, and I'll give you the pubes. Sweet! Uh, no! God damn it! $16, take it. I I'll even throw in an extra five. Here, give me back my pubes. Why do you want them back so much? The pube fair in Fort Collins. Pube fair? They're paying oh five bucks a hair God. for pubes. If I leave now, I can catch the last bus. I'm going to Fort Collins myself. He's playing him. You can't do this to me. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, no way. I don't remember any of this, guys. Oh my god. 106 miles. Well, my grandma's in the hospital. She's very sick. Doctor said <laughs> I, I can come up with $16 for operation. <laughs> I'm gonna put her down. $16. Gee, oh, I'll get your money. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Just get down on your knees and beg me for the money. Please, God, give me my money. No, no. Get down on your knees. Lower your head. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. Maybe, Maybe I'm not I'm my angels, angels, but I, I believe you. That's, That's why, why I'm, I'm gonna, gonna let you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, give you the canopy to, to take your, your lousy, loud, low down four flush and carcass out my door. <laughs> Do you remember the Home Alone um, reference? Sorry, I had to. Head. That's what it reminded no, me no. of. Now say, I'm a little piggy. What? Say it. I'm a little piggy. I'm a little Here's piggy. Here's my snout. <laughs> Here's my snout. Dance and oink for me. Oh my god, that is so humiliating. I'm a little piggy. Here's my snout. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. My parents give me a $50 a week allowance. This pittance means nothing to me. Watch. <gasps> what? what are you doing? Oh my god, that is disrespectful. No. Oh my god. Cartman, I feel you. No. Concerned citizens, I thank you for coming. I know that you <laughs> are deeply citizens. troubled and want to find a quick and painful way to get rid of Scott Tetterman once and for all. Who's Scott Tetterman? Did you guys see that movie Hannibal, where the deformed guy trained giant pigs to eat his enemy alive? Well, if we find a pony, we can train it. Oh yeah. Train it to bite off Scott <laughs> Tetterman's wiener. It will be painful and humiliating. Wait. Did someone in Hannibal? <laughs> I guess that's what he's referring to. Scott Tenderman will forever be known as the kid who had his wiener bitten off by a pony. <laughs> <laughs> What's in it for us? You may take our pride, but you'll never take my goddamn sixty dollars and twelve cents. <laughs> now who's with me? Timmy! Oh, Timmy! I love Timmy. Timmy! Timmy! Alright, I guess it's just you and me, Timmy. Oh. 
Oh, Timmy went as well. There we go. Come and get it. Now bite it off. Yeah. Bite off the wiener. Get pony. Oh, no, pony. Who like that? Eric, are you training that pony to please you? No, I'm trying to teach it how to bite someone's penis off. Not like that, pony. Ew. Well, if you want to get revenge on somebody, you've got to think like a hunter. How do I do that? I'm traumatized from that. I didn't want to see a pony do that. Hmm. I don't remember any of that when I watched it. That's... I don't know why that's so disturbing to see. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is this Jimbo and Ned? Ned is the one who talks in, like, monotone because his voice box got, like... I don't know what happened to his voice box. Let me know in the comment section what, what happened to his voice box. I don't remember. But he says, like, my name is Ned. That's how he talks, if I remember correctly. What am I doing here? Yeah. Oh, geez, don't stop. What am I doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? No more Middle Park players. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Ned talks. Oh my god. I'm singing, Ned. So, Ned. He's a big Radiohead fan, huh? This guy's mom's about to take off her bra. What? Give me those. <laughs> Holy crow, he's right, man. Mr. Tenerman's left. Give me that. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should go grab some beers, Ned. Ned, what the, are you jacking it? Kinda. <laughs> well, stop. Kinda. <laughs> Who's out there? Ned, for Who's out there? <laughs> I know who you are, and I'm calling the police. <laughs> Guys, when is your next album coming out? That's an interesting question, Kurt. But first, I'd just like to say that I really hate this kid named Scott Tenerman. He's stupid. We just hate that Scott Tenerman kid so much that we don't want to. It's so yeah, unbelievable. Scott Tenerman is totally not cool. He's not cool. Not cute. cute. <laughs> wow, that really sucks for you, Scott. Scott? It's time for the amazing pube boy. I'm a little piggy. Here's my snack. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh my god, they killed Kenny. He killed Kenny through laughter. And then even his ghost came out laughing. <laughs> I'm wondering why um, Kyle didn't jump in and say, You bastards! As they usually say. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! You bastards! What? Who? Who killed him? They did. Who's they? You know, they. They're, they're bastards. Wait, let's run the back. Oh my god, he killed Kenny. You bastards. Why did he say that? You think you're so cute, Scott Tenet. Cute. We'll see how cute you feel after this. Yes. I just love how Cartman says cute. I'm obsessed. I'm writing to you because of a kid I know named Scott Tenement. I like the voices. Scott is 15, and I'm afraid he has cancer in his ass. Radiohead is his favourite band, and it would make his short life if you could find him in your... <laughs> ass. <laughs> ...parts to visit him before he dies alone, scared. Oh, please scared. consider it. I don't think he'll make it past next Tuesday, around five. <laughs> wow, we have to go. We just want to warn you, Eric Cartman, the fourth grader, is going to try to trick you somehow into getting your wiener bitten off by a pony who lives at Dakin's Ranch. And why are you telling me? Because we hate him. Oh. I was just stopping by to invite you to my chili con carnival. Everyone's coming, and I wanted to go <laughs> your invitation personally. Ooh, a chili carnival, huh? I love when Cartman does a little, Hello, I just want to invite you. You know, that whole, and yet he has, like, his own plans always going on. Three rides and ponies? <laughs> what more could I want? A little penis biting bed. What? <laughs> nothing, nothing. So penis biting bed. <laughs> How can I turn it down? Sweet. Sweet. Killer. Bye, Scott. Killer. <laughs> oh, you are good, Eric. That was my good friend, Eric, at the door. He told me that there's a starving pony at Dinkins Ranch that's been abandoned. Well, don't you worry, Scott. Your mom and I can go get the pony and have it taken to an animal shelter. There's pubes from just about every kid in town. <laughs> awesome. Oh, dude. Oh. The little fat kid thinks he's going to get revenge tomorrow. We'll see how he likes it when Ew. I tell him he just ate the pubes of every kid in town. Reminds me of Midsommar. <laughs> you watch the movie, you know. What is that? Is that a fucking pube? Ew. Oh, it's just a hair. Yeah, a pubic hair. If you know, you know. Oh, hello, guys. 
I don't know why, it just warms my heart when I see Cartman just being Cartman. <laughs> just smile. He's so delightfully evil. I love him. Uh, hello, guys. <laughs> this, uh... uh hello, hello, guys. guys. Thanks for coming to my Chili Pan <laughs> Carnival. Can this is the dumbest thing you've ever done, Cartman. Oh, it won't be so dumb when Scott Tenement arrives. I suggest you stay to see the fireworks. <laughs> what contest? This is a Chili Cook Carnival. <laughs> oh, oh, contest. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, here, I just put it over here. It's my special recipe. Scott Tenement! <laughs> How are you, Scott? Scott. Thanks Scott. so much for coming. I love how his eyes are closed. Scott Tenement! <laughs> I don't know. Your chili is good, Cartman, but I think mine is better. Try it. All right. Ah, this is really good, Scott. I'm glad you like it so much, because now that you're almost finished, I have something to tell you. You mean about how you put pubes in your chili? Oh, what? he knows. Let's it with chefs. Uh. <laughs> I don't remember what I that. I didn't remember that. was that my friend Stan and Kyle would betray me and warn you that the Chili Con Carnival was a trap. I warned Mr. Dinkins that violent pony killers were in the area. You would most likely send your parents. He shot and killed both your parents. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trespassing and I was protecting myself. Of course, to steal the bodies. <laughs> Do you like it, Scott? I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenerman Chili. <laughs> I made you eat your parents. I remember this part. So I've seen this last part before, like um, when he starts saying singing and all that. Uh, I use I've seen it as a meme and stuff like that. But I I didn't remember that episode. I didn't remember how it like unraveled. So this is really interesting to see how it unraveled. Who are you? With that band, Radiohead. Jeez, what a little crybaby. You're gonna cry all day, crybaby? <laughs> you know, everyone has problems. It doesn't mean you have to be a little crybaby. Cry baby. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. This kid is totally not cool. Yeah, that's the most that's uncool totally kid I've cool. ever met. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me taste your tears, Scott. Mm, your tears are so yummy. <laughs> Dude, I think it might be best for us to never piss Cartman off again. I have to rewind that, I'm sorry. I love Cartman so much. <laughs> okay, so I was told to do a full episode this time. I've done that. I, I hope you guys like that. Let me know if you prefer the full episodes. A shout out to Gen Z. Gen Z, the subscriber who um suggested that i do this so yeah if you leave your comments down in the comment section down below i reply to every single comment we're mostly doing south park for now but i'm open to venturing into other series especially adult cartoons like south park and rick and morty so if you've got any suggestions for those let me know in the comment section down below i hope you enjoyed this reaction i hope you liked the full episode sort of format never mess with cartman he's crazy as hell he's my favorite character him and Randy. I love both of them. I can do a Randy reaction next if you guys would like that. Mark Stone, Trey Parker. Hats off as usual. So yeah, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button to show your support. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Comment below anything you feel like, any suggestions, anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Nighttime Reactions with Jojo. All right, bye. Hey, I'm a cop. And you will respect my authority!